knowledge creation the most important thing in unreal engine in this video i'm trying to teach you how you can create some foliage inside of unreal engine how you can control all these things in this setup so let's begin so first of all as you can see right now i am in unreal engine and i just made a basic landscape because if you don't know about this unreal engine landscape mode exactly works with foliage pretty nicely so before doing anything you have to do some material stuff so i'm using quixel mega scan simply go and use this quixel bridge and over there you can find tons of textures assets whatever you want to use i just already downloaded free grasses and some textures simply click and import that so just minimize and press ctrl and spacebar and then you can find this assets on this panel all right so now if you see i have already ms presets which is static mesh on so these are the like ms presets this is mega scan presets where i have already added some foliage this is just a simple process to add so what do you have to do simply go to this bridge select download and after that just click this blue icon it will automatically import into your unreal engine so just select the landscape here and control and spacebar to turn on the surface and turn off the static mesh and right after that you can see two surfaces here so what i'll do i'll just lock the dock from here so it will stick on the space and now what i'll do i'm just click drag and drop the landscape material to here that's it so now if you notice the material already applied but it's too small so what do you have to do just double click here and it's open here then just go to this tiling setup and just simply turn this on and make this tiling setup from 0.1 by 0.1 and just press save and that's it now if you close this you can see the textures all right so now let's talk about the foliage so first of all before doing anything i'll just go to the select mode and let's go to this foliage mode so this is basically foliage mode whatever you will do it will exactly visible here so now go to this ms preset so first of all i'll just give some grasses over here and with the help of that tool i'll just just describe how it will exactly work so first of all whenever you click this 3d plants and turn on the static mesh you can exactly see all those static mesh right here so if you want to enable this nanite simply click right click and go to nanite and enable here i'm just not doing this so first of all i'm just adding few branches here just select all this and drag and drop into this foliage selection just like this and right after that make sure all the things should be checked on then after that if you notice there is called the brush size and this paint density so brush size basically this is the brush diameter okay so if you decrease or increase you can see the brush size is increasing and decreasing so based on your quality of work you can exactly increase or decrease so now if i'll click on my brush just like this you can see set up bunches of you know foliage will create and it will start lagging on your pc if you also notice the video memory is also not supporting just press ctrl z here because i don't want that much thing so what i'll do i'll just decreasing the brush size just a bit so it will like this now now talking about the paint density like whenever you click there is like massive number of branches will create so what i'll do i'll just press dot and zero five so density is very less right now so now when you click see only few trees or you can call it like branches will generate just like this okay now it's actually right but if you notice properly all the tree size all the grasses flower size are exactly same there's no uniformness so what do you have to do i'm just pressing ctrl z once again and just select all this and whenever you just make a drop down you can see the settings over here here you can find lots of settings okay so if you go down you can see the density is also here so if you decrease the density around 50 percent so whatever you can see it will decrease 50 percent more and right after that you can see there is an option called scale so if i decrease the scale from like 0.5 and then the maximum and the minimum ratio is 0.5 and 1 so now whenever you paint you can see few trees are like small and few are bigger so it will create some variation and randomness all this but now one more thing if you want to create some wind effect like trees are moving like this then you need to turn on something so press ctrl z go down you can find one option called movable whenever you create static it will be possible for rocks and all which is not non-living things but for trees and any other things you have to click this movable so now whenever you add some wind effect it will automatically you know moving so now just simply click like this and it's done so now let's create something with the help of this tool and one more thing if you click the single instance mode whenever you click this it will just create one single node and it will create all together in one single click so i don't think this is only happening on without trees so but if you wish you can use now i want to create some grasses here 
so you can find these many grasses simply select all just drag and drop and that's it so now just select all and make sure you have to start painting over here so now i'm just painting it right randomly and you can see the trees or like grasses is created something like this and whenever you just release your mouse it will show like this only and now i'm just increasing the paint density to somewhere around 0.8 and i'm just decreasing the precise slightly a bit so that i can focus on specific parts and now let's add few more here something like this here and it's done so now just release the mouse and you can see your foliage successfully created now if you want to add some trees over here you can exactly do that so simply for here i'm using the european herbal trees which is exactly free from marketplace you can simply go and use and just go to the static mesh just click that static mesh so you can find all the trees models over here so what you can exactly do go to the select mode what i prefer sometimes because whenever you do foliage your system maybe start lagging so the basic idea is for me actually what i'll do firstly i'll just maintain my camera position because i don't want unwanted things to be created so press control and like this and just simply click drag and drop on your scene and first of all whenever you use this for the very first time you can see all the meshes texture will start generating and you can see the trees are already here and one more thing these trees are really really realistic so if you want you can use it and after doing this tree you can exactly add a lot of trees with the help of foliage tab as well so let me show you how you can do that with the foliage tab simply go to select mode and once again go to foliage mode so simply let's take one and two these two trees drag and drop over here so now first of all let's uncheck all this so just select all just like this and then just simply uncheck okay so right now what happened only this two will select okay now select one and two and now after selecting this two what you have to do just simply add your density and the scale and all which i already done before so i'm just decreasing the paint density to somewhere around 0.3 because i want very less trees to be generated here and also i want the scale should be like minimum one and maximum should be two okay and now let's start painting just click and boom you can see wow the large number of scale of trees uh, generating here and the spreads are very less so what i'll do i'll just increasing the brush size slightly okay and make sure this should be movable as well okay so now once again i'm just click the single instance mode and because i want one tree at a time okay and after that i'm just pressing click and you can see the tree is visible oh my god it's pretty big and really it's looking natural also let's add one tree here and uh, one tree in the background something like this one tree in the here as well now if you notice all the trees positioning the motions are really really natural okay so you can play with all the setups with your own time so just go to this exponential height fog which is creating a height fog just make sure the volumetric fog should be turned on and make sure whenever you go to this location settings simply increase this height to somewhere around uh, let's say 5000 and you can see some volumetric fog will generate now if you want to decrease your volumetric fog settings you can simply go in minus and if you want to increase go in plus it's very simple also you can reset it from here then it will reset so yes that's it with the help of this method you can create some foliage so guys please do comment that this video will help you a lot or not and if you find out uh, this unreal indian series helpful please uh, subscribe to this channel world of vfx other tutorials are already uploaded in my this channel and if you want to watch hindi tutorials go and subscribe to vfx world bye bye